Today I will show you how to make my favorite color correction. Yo, it's Povikas here. And yeah, guys, today I will be leaking the sauce on how I make my favorite color correction. I've used a similar color correction to this for a couple of years now, and it's still my favorite. And also, before I leak how I make my favorite color correction, my name is Povikas, and I've been a video editor for actually over seven years now. And I also own a really crazy video editing website called povikas.com, which has a bunch of viral presets packs that have helped a bunch of video editors have in insane visuals in their crazy edits. I would 100% recommend to check it out and it will be linked in the description. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of one and only from Miss Stardust music video and I absolutely love this music video. But one thing I have noticed about this music video is it doesn't have the best color correction and that's why we can press Ctrl Y and make my favorite color correction on top of this video. So the first effect we can add, which is very optional by the way, but I love this effect. It's as hotspots. Now my color corrections are usually a bit more edgy slash cinematic. So that's why, why I like to add as hotspots. And I like to make the threshold something like 0.2 a lot of the times. But for this time, let's just make it a bit higher because for these clips, it can actually be higher. So I'll make it to 0.35. Now keep in mind, you cannot even add this effect. It's just an effect to make it all darker and edgier. I mean, as you can see, it looks really, really cool. And now we can add an effect called sharpen, which is really important for color corrections. It makes the colors pop more. And I like to make the sharper amount somewhere from 15 to 50. So I'll make it to 50, actually, I'll make it the max. And as you can see, that pops a lot. Like look, before and after, it pops a bunch. And now we can add lumetri color, which is one of the effects that a lot of color corrections have. And let's go to basic correction. And here I'm not gonna change much. I'll make the temperature to minus five. I like to have it a bit colder. And I'll increase the exposure literally to 0 0.1 very tiny increase well you can increase it a bit more if your clips are too dark but you know do what you want and here i like to make this contrast from 40 to like even 100 so let's make it to 40 as you can see this darkens it out kind of like and i sometimes like to make it even like this high so just keep it in mind like you need to test it out a bit but if you keep it at 40 it will look like this so i sometimes drag it to even like 150. just keep in mind that color corrections will not always just have these settings you will always have to change them a little bit depending on what your needs are and here if you want i'm not gonna do this but if you want you can make the highlights a bit lower to make it even more edgier but let's <laughs> just not do that and you can also make the shadows lower to make it edgier as well but you know yeah let's just not do it right now but you can do it all right and now let's add an optional effect which is cc vignette and here i like to make an amount from 20 to 75 so i'll make it to 70. now cc vignette just basically darkens the edges as you can see if we click before and after i got a bit edgier but you can just not add it if you don't want it and now let's add deep glow 2 or deep glow 1 doesn't really matter much which one you add and here, I like to make the radius to 750. Let's just be honest, the exposure is way too high. So we need to go to exposure and make it to 0.05 or 0.04. Very depends on, on what you need. You can sometimes say you make it even higher. But I'll make it to 0.04. And as you can see, Deep Glow 2 is probably one of the most important effects for this color correction because before and after, I love Deep Glow. It's pretty much a cheat code for color correction. But here, I'm not done. I also like to go to input and I like to make the threshold to 50. So as you can see, it just leaves the deep glow in a bit of different parts, which looks really cinematic. Okay, and now let's add four color gradient. And here let's go to color one. And I like to make this something like this, maybe, maybe a bit darker actually. Yeah, let's just make it a bit darker like that. And, and now let's take this point and press on here. Oh yeah, and let's go to blending mode and let's make it to color. And now let's go to this. And here let's make it this color, brighter blue. And let's make the same here. And of, of course this looks kind of bad. I mean, maybe sometimes this can actually work, but uh, we do not want it like this. So I like to make the opacity to 25%. And the blend, I like to make it really high to like 650. You can make it even higher just so it blends in way more. And that looks really, really cool. I think I have to mention, you can make colors here, whatever you want. You can make whatever colors you want here. But I like these colors personally. And now let's add an optional effect, which is almost in all of color corrections. It's curves. And here I like to make the graph one point here and drag it just super tiny down, like minimal down. And take a point right here, make it go like somewhere here. Yeah, so look, before and after. All right, and now let's add an optional effect, which I'll show you how to change if you don't have this plugin. It's called BTT 
Film Glow OBS. Now, this is an effect that's used in a bunch of color corrections as well. And you can actually keep it like this if you like the glow like this. In some parts, you can just keep it literally like this. But I'll show you a bit differently. So I like to make the glow radius here really high. I like to make it to 500. But as you can see, that looks kind of crazy. So we need to make the glow intensity to 5. It adds this really nice glow and it just adds glow everywhere because we made the glow radius so high. You can actually make the glow radius even higher if you want, but you can also make the glow intensity. I sometimes like to make it to even A, which will look really, really cool. But depending on what you want, you might not want the glow this high. So yeah, do what you want. So yeah, we can go back far. And now to finish it up, let's add S flicker because we want a bit of flicker and let's make the amplitude like 0 0.15 just kind of lower it's just going to flicker a little bit in our video and now as you might see i do not like these little parts where i'm showing the cursor here so we can add transform as the last effect and make the scale to 101 and now we won't see that little annoying part that was popping out and now as you can see before and after is crazy with this effect but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know and if you want me to make more color correction tutorials then also let me know i have a bunch of other ideas and a bunch of other color corrections that i use a lot but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya